up on some burrow shit. Push starting whips, four on six, six on seven kid. Don't touch the mink, little bitch. I'm too elegant. Top, bottom six, shimmering like my melanin. Don't nigga. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Tower of Greatness. Season 3, episode 35. Uh, five, it's 4.52 in general. Let's hop right in. <clears> Throat's a little sore, so, you know, bear with me. Young Paul, okay. The branches keep coming. Ugh. Ugh, what is that? Oh, is that the guy that's arm cut off, I think? Careful, there's more of them. That's hot, actually. Uh, is that, what's his name? Monreal or something? The Andorsi fanboy? I can't tell who that is. But I think it's hot and shit. What the hell is going on here? This is crazy. I mean, they're defending against it, which is still kind of wild to me. Tell you the story, slave and Udor Tower of God, the 52nd floor, the wall of peaceful coexistence. Megas in the wall. That shit is so wild to me. Number three. <clears throat> My boy Karaka. Damn it. I can't get a chance to attack. Hey, Evankyo, did you really see Yama disappear? You should know better. You're a scout. Yama completely disappeared without a trace. I don't know what the Elder did, but Yama's not here. And there's something else strange. That ancient creature isn't coming after us directly. It keeps, excuse me, trying to spread its branches into the cage. Oh, shit, yeah, trying to, like, pull it. Okay. That makes sense if he's trying to get all the canine people to go to the wall with him, I suppose. Alright, there's a there's a blinding light. Oh, of course, Crocker gets hurt. Come on, man. Come on, cuz. He's bleeding. <laughs> That's enough, Lord Karaka. I don't want to lose another slayer in this battle. Elder, where's Yama? I saw his destiny, so I sent him to another battlefield. Uh, another battlefield? Yes. Oh my god, that fucking... Bison, <laughs> there's no way for you to stop your destiny now. The cage is all ready to be moved. Once I get rid of, once I quickly get rid of Doom, I'm going to cross the wall with the K9 people. So step aside, Lord Karaka. This is actually like do a light that he puts respect to them. He's still calling him Lord Karaka because that's a slayer, but Kel Helm is obviously stronger than him, but you know. <laughs> Lord Karaka out What How are you going to move the cage The essence of this ancient's powers attack. Hold on This is important The essence of this ancient powers Attacks Is that it amplifies And transmits my powers To wherever the roots touch I may not be able to move the cage on my own But with this power I'm more than capable of doing so Interesting I'm going to Use Doom to seize the cage and go into battle with it. And there's nothing any of you can do about it. I feel like a Van Kel should be able to do something. Don't meow at me. Paul, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Is that a translation error? Is that like a, is that a, a phrase or a saying in Korea or something? Like, don't meow. What the hell just happened? Why did he say that? I'm so fucking confused. Yo, did he just one hand? What the fuck? Yo! The elder, he's different. He's different. You, I'm Baylord Paul. Right, we don't care. <laughs> Cal Hellum, you bastard. How dare you trick me? Cal Hellum. Oh, Doom's here. And bam. Doom. <laughs> I always laugh. I always forget he has like one hand. Doom, you're back to normal. You son of a bitch. Doom? How the how did he break the spell? Oh, he's oh he could tell. Oh, I guess because he's not in pain. The Slayer candidate behind me broke the spell for me. Too bad oh, he struck. Too bad, Cal Hellum. The canine people will never side with you. Now that the spell in my heart is broken. What? The Slayer candidate broke the spell. How is that possible? I I didn't see this coming. That spell on Doom's heart was perfected over many years by elite sorcerers. I can't believe he broke it so easily. There's, there's a comment I can make here, but I'm a, I'm, I'm a different and better and changed man, so I'm going to just not. <laughs> I can see people's destiny. 
so I know just how miraculous what that Slayer candidate did is. Miracle. That's right. If changing the destiny of the K9 people in a blink of an eye like this isn't a miracle, I don't know what is. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. It, it, ain't that right? <laughs> ain't that right, man? All of the destinies I saw were completely changed by that Slayer candidate. Maybe even the destiny that led me to send Yama to the wall was all because of his will. Whenever I'm faced with something greater than destiny, it sends a cold shiver down my spine. I felt I've already had this feeling long before. Feeling before long ago. Jesus Christ, can I read? Clearly I can. The 10, ooh, the 10, great, the, the 10, the 10 family leaders in Jihad. It's the same feeling I had when I encountered those masters of destiny and time itself. Is that him at back in the day? I'm trying to see if he looks different from the back. Who's with him? Who's that in the corner with like hair? I was so proud of being able to see people's destiny. And yet, now, in just an instant, I've become a blind fool. That terrifying feeling. This actually makes me laugh. He's still going. I get it. This is a big deal. I can't believe the person who ended up thwarting my plan to conquer the canine people and stop the impending disaster wasn't a slayer like Yama or Karaka or even a Vanka with his ancient power. At some point, a Vanka is gonna be like uh, a male or female, or you have to like. I, I don't know what the actual term is for some of those people who uh, some days they feel more girls than boys or whatever. You gotta like make that click. Like, this, is, this is getting fucking annoying. But that little Slayer candidate looks like I lost this battle. Oh, you gave up. Just like that? Yeah, exactly. Right? Is it because a spell on Doom's heart is broken? Huh? Wait, where's Yama? I thought he was fighting you. I sent him to another battlefield. You what? Look at Doom. He's funny. He's making funny faces. You keep talking about some other battlefield. Where the heck is it? The wall of peaceful coexistence. The wall of peaceful coexistence. You mean that wall the rebels built after Genesis? The rebels? That's right. That's where your lamp. Lord Yama. Lord Lama. Your Lord Yama is now. Look, it's been a long day. The wall is going to be attacked soon by King Jihad. Why am I sitting like this? Like King, by Jin King Jihad's army. I was hoping to take the Kena people to the wall with me, but I never thought the spell on Doom's heart would be broken. Come to think of it, the reason the destiny I saw fell apart, the reason Yama was sent there was all because of you, Slayer Candidate. Well, how would you like to lead the Kena people to the wall with me? What? Why would he go there to save Yama, of course? One of Jihad's squadrons is probably at the wall by now. Not even Yama can face an entire squadron by himself. Uh, okay, I'm a, uh, if I uh, hopefully I remember, remember what I'm thinking right now to bring it up later. And if we really need another reason, the Jihad's army is actually after two walls. I saw a vision of a squadron approaching one of them, and someone told me a warrior as mighty as the squadron is going to be sent to the other one. A warrior as mighty as the squadron? That's right. <gasps> Hunter Bands? Hunter Bands, Hunter Bands, Caliban. That's right, there's a good chance that that man you're, there, you're trying to... Wait, hold on. That's right, there's a good chance it's that man you're trying to meet. So wait a minute. Is is he implying that Caliban has the strength of an entire squadron of himself, but yeah, Sriracha does it? That's kind of interesting. But then again, you can, but these line translations, you can never take some of this too seriously. You have to like read three different versions and derive you know, your own truth from the different types of... um. Translations. Could it be Calvin? Yes, sir. If you want to take the K9 people and go save Yama and help me beat Jihad's army, I'll send you their Slayer candidate. You'll finally get the chance to avenge your master. He wants to send the Slayer candidate to Calvin. It's the trap, but he's our best chance of finding out where Jin Sung Hai is. What do you think of that, Kel? It sounds kind of sketchy, but it's a good opportunity. You choose. I want to go, but I. If I, I'm not sure if I can go with everyone, can I decide after talking it over with the K9 people? I thought he said yes in a heartbeat. This is so mature of him. Growth. Sure, I can't give you much time, but do as you wish. 
Your destiny will follow you anyway. Alright, I'm tired of your destiny talk. Shut the hell up! Goofy! What brings a little puppy... Oh, there we go. A little puppy from the cage all the way here. A cat? <laughs> S Squadron Commander! Chuckle. I was just trying to capture a war hero. What does that mean? I didn't think I'd find a lost puppy in the way. A squadron Commander. If there's a squadron commander here, does that mean the squadron's here too? Didn't you, didn't you just see a bunch of ships, nigga? <laughs> and that cat's eyes are giving me the creeps. Kind of think of it. Doom told me about some cat person's eyes one time. What the hell? What did he say again? I was so drunk. He was, yeah, he was, he was sauced. I was so drunk at the time I could barely remember. Hey, are you one of those feline people? You must be a pretty big deal in Jihad's army if you're a squadron commander. What's someone like you attacking a shitty old wall like this for? Who knows? Lord Jihad controlled destiny itself. How could Lord lowly creatures like us ever understand someone like him? As a squadron commander, all I do is obey the, <coughs> the king's orders. So, a lot of these guys are like true believers in Jihad and his word and his will. Because Caliban has said something similar. Perhaps he sent me here because he wanted me to meet you, little runaway mud. Why does that bastard keep calling me a runaway mud? Weird. I don't even know where you live, man. <laughs> what? Anyway, go fight him, Fusil. Oh, that's your yes, Racha. This battle is only the start of what's to come. If you're too scared to even lay a finger on the man in front of you, you have no right to fight in this war. You may not be able to beat him, but at least show me you have a right to be here. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are, but watch and learn. You guys stay back. Lord Fusil. Are you seriously just going to die for nothing? He must really want to fight. I didn't expect the squadron commander to show up, but whatever. This, whatever. Maybe this is for. Maybe this is actually for the better. I can't believe this squadron commander. If I can beat the squadron commander, the whole squadron will fall apart. I bet they've got a warp fleet. I'll get a chance. I'll wait for a chance to get in the warp fleet and zap myself back to the cage. I'd better hurry, the cage is in danger. Huh? The cage? I don't have time to mess with a little punk like you. I wanna fight the squadron commander, not you. Ooh, look at that. Look at that blitz. Yo, yeah, I'm so raw. Extreme speed. Yeah, he's in his face already. Did he dodge him? He dodged that? Very impressive. I may have managed to slip by once. But I can feel it. I won't be able to dodge him again. Oh, that picture of like Yama look like a, like a monstrous thing to like show, the gap in their strength. That was I like that. That's clean. My whole body is paralyzed with fear, which means that you're already done. Death is right around the corner. I can smell blood already. My mind has gone completely blank. All I want to do is scream. Yama be put. Yama be putting the fear of God into his opponents, bro. But if this is going to be my last moment, I at least I won't run away. I admire your courage. What the fuck just happened? Did Yama miss? He dodged him? Oh no. Good try, Fusil. Huh? This is the same power as Dooms. I respect him for not backing down, even before a man who calls himself the king of the canine people. You. Now let's see if it still works. Huh? Yeah, Sriracha style mind control. Days. As of right as of as of this moment, your body right now, what's happened to me? Is under my control. Oh, I knew it. Huh? What the hell? My right arm is moving by itself. Hit to your face. And he punched himself in the face. And he's bleeding. What? What's going on? That's the end of the chapter. I was so worried about this. I knew it. I knew we could control him. I, I think I think the, the thing that made me realize it was that goat man. You know, too raw, aka he's too raw. The goat man, the goat. I just knew it. I had a feeling. But um what I was gonna say is I think maybe if we if you think about the squadrons of, in Jihad's army, the the leader of every squadron should probably be comparable to a slayer in the sense that these are like the upper echelon of jihad's army that run an entire faction the same way you could say a slayer even though they're all each um directed at taking down one of the heads or and or jihad they have like their entire you know slayer plus their faction you know yaman is canine people 
You got like um, well, you have Batman Hitler going for action. Couldn't tell you mean too much about White, but you have Lord Karaka and his people, like Groom, Deathbird, people who guard his heart, things of that nature. So it's like they're pretty comparable. So like Yasuracha being as strong as Yama to me isn't too crazy, but. If Yama is supposed to be as powerful as a Slayer from the first generation, he should be like OD, like extremely, like super mega powerful. So I don't know. I don't know. But um, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good chapter. Pretty interesting. I don't Yama. The first time Yama shed blood was by his own hand. It's kind of raw. Only he could be him. That's my Yomine type shed. The only person who could beat me is me. But anywho, um. I'm interested in seeing if he can break out of that control. Like, what is he going to do? Because this, this is some anima shit. And this seems like what... This seems like, yeah, Chiracha's ability. We still haven't seen what the kitty cat could do. Because if it's on some Elaine's wolf type shit, it could do something crazy. You don't even know. So, I don't know, man. This feline person looking kind of scary. But, anywho, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be out. Karaka to go. He is. Respect it. Go world, but I don't wanna lose my heart, yeah I feel like awkward cause they left me in the dark, yeah Got these feelings where the motion fall apart, yeah I loved you once, but I didn't play it smart, yeah Call me